The crew reporting they can see the station. Again, this docking maneuver is going to be automated. There's a system on board the Soyuz spacecraft known as the CORS uh, that uses uh, antennas and radar to automatically track in and dock to the space station. Should that have any issues, though, uh, the commander on board, Alex Kropochka, is equipped to take over and fly manually should it be required. But for now, everything continuing to be done automatically. This now a view from the Soyuz spacecraft, a uh, centerline camera that is going to get the station into view there. Two numbers to keep an eye on in the bottom left corner. You see that 1.724 number ticking down. That is the range away. That's in kilometers. The number just beneath it is the range rate, so the rate of closure between the station and the Soyuz spacecraft, showing that they're getting closer to station at a rate of about 4.2 meters per second right now. Do you see the ISS? Yes, and the picture is very clear. I can see the service module. Copy. And just there, getting a spectacular view from one of the onboard high-definition cameras on board the station of the Soyuz. Just to the left center of your screen. Monitoring the very the southern Pacific, Pacific Ocean firing. passing by in the background. And as the Soyuz comes up on 560 meters away, impulse burn number six complete, Close continuing on its approach. Meters and closing rate is 1.5 meters. Copy, thank you. And you just heard the translation confirming the fly around has begun. And that's a Russian progress vehicle in the foreground. It's very similar to the Soyuz, but it's used for transporting cargo and also fuel, water, and other supplies to and from the international or to the International Space Station. So use MS-15, going to continue to fly around. Again, it's going all the way over to the Zvezda service module's docking port, so on the very aft end of the station. Indication. <coughs> You're seeing thruster firings on the Soyuz as it finishes up that fly around maneuver. Eventually lining it right up with the aft end of the station. The range is uh, around 25 meters. 0.14 is the rate. Copy. And just in time, getting that video back. So looking right down the business end here from the. Uh, Zvezda service Bobby, module looking right at the docking cone on the uh, the Soyuz spacecraft itself as it continues to close in. 20 meters, point Just about 20 meters away. Indication is on, copy. Twenty meters is the range. Point eleven is the rate. The range is seventeen. Copy. We can see the same. Again, slow and steady, the Soyuz approaching at just about a tenth of a meter per second. Copy. I can see a roll angle here. 
it's not that big. 4 and 13 is the closing rate. Copy. We can see that in the video. The target is slightly lower the center. The crosshairs are aligned. The roll is close to zero. Copy. Point 11 is the rate. Coming up on 10 meters away. We see some roll angle here. The crosshairs are still aligned. We are in OSK. Copy. The range is around 7 meters. Copy. The rate is 0.1. Copy all. We can see that as well. The range is around three meters. We are standing by for contact. Point one is the uh, rate. Copy. You're standing by for contact. Standing by for contact and docking. The range is around one meter. Point one is the rate. I confirm the contact. Contact. Copy. Contact is confirmed. Mechanical connection is confirmed as well. I see that on gas eight. Copy. And so use docking confirm that coming at 2.42 p.m. Central Time, 3.42 p.m. Eastern Time. While the station and Soyuz were flying 264 statute miles over the southern Pacific Ocean off the west coast of Chile. So again, docking confirmed 2.42 p.m. Central Time, 3.42 p.m. Eastern. Three new crew members now docked to the International Space Station. Okay, let's go to page 66 now.